Okay, guys, and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. We're doing another Switch stream today, and I know these aren't the most popular streams, guys, but you know what? Like, I'm kind of having fun with the Switch, and there's a whole bunch of 2D games on there, and I think it's it's good for 2D games, right? So, this is Shinobi, guys. This is actually my favorite version of Shinobi because it's got some good quality of life stuff in here. So, we can go the arcade mode, which is like the normal mode, or we can go the ages mode, right? So, what's Traverse on? Okay freestyle i can't remember if i have that on or not you know so let's go let's go ages mode right so what what does ages mode exactly do well your ninja's not one color right your ninja's gonna be your, your ninja's you're not gonna be that i'm colorblind I always say it right y you see he's that like white color there or whatever that color is right so ooh, okay can't always forget what the buttons are All right okay secret navigation off okay so well, let's see let's turn secret navi on what's that okay Buttons are a bit confusing, right? Because you're used to playing the arcade one. You're kind of used to pressing... Uh, okay, let's... Uh, okay, let's jump. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Why Why is my guy stuck down? That's that's weird. Have I got a controller issue? You shouldn't be crouching down, right? That's that's weird. Okay, that's, that's weird. And that's just going to work on another game. Alright, see, there, when you get hit, then you turn into a normal ninja, but then here you go, you rescue another kid. you okay, my D-pads around. I don't know what happened there, man. Hope my patro pro controller's not, um, not malfunctioning, right? I mean, I've hardly used the damn thing. I always play this in, in handheld mode. It's always about handheld mode for me. So, guys, this makes Shinobi a little bit easier, right? Shinobi's quite a tough game. Uh, and, you know, you can't, you can't just uh, brute force your way through it with coins, right? You need to, um... You need to, you, you, you continue from either the beginning of the level or like certain checkpoints, right? So this version is really good and it goes on sale for like really, really cheap, like two pounds or something like that. Now, what's really interesting here is, okay, there's there's different versions, right? Where we've got the altered uh, beast um, posters in the background there behind him. I've seen some, I think the arcade version has like, I was going to say Marilyn Manson, <laughs> but I meant Marilyn Monroe, right? Again, love this game. This is this is one of the arcade defining games, and you know, I really do like the Switch, and I like a lot of the M2 ports, right? And um, you know, this one's this one's just absolutely great. Uh, so I remember, I remember that that little Spider-Man thing being like a slightly different color. A little bit of trivia here as well. Uh, some of the enemies in here did actually look like Spider-Man, and they kind of removed them out of the game. So there's there's interesting videos on uh, YouTube um, kind of going over that, which, which makes it interesting, right? But yeah, this is this is really really good. You can you can rewind as well, from what I remember. If I can remember what the rewind button is, that's right. It's maybe on no, no. Okay. There was there's definitely a rewind button maybe i maybe i just haven't um i haven't switched the mode on there's definitely a rewind button yo spitfire earth what's going on man evening evening to you man okay i gotta suck at this boss battle right i'll try and do it but uh you know have a bit of magic All right, I'm out. Now, that was a way to rewind it. Right, now let's have a look at uh, another 2D game. What we can do, play this a lot. I never really, but I never played much of this on the Amiga, you know. Um, I played it a lot in the arcade. I can't remember what I played it on the Master System as well. So, guys, let's have a look at the games. Um, there's there's quite a bunch of 2D games here. If there's anything you guys want to see, but remember, it has to be 2D. We're not, we're not doing any 3D stuff, right? So there's a whole bunch of games here. But I'm kind of looking at them in alphabetical order here when I go to like my main list. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of games on Arcade Archive. Yo, Retro Tuna in the house. How you doing? How come you're not streaming today, man? Usually um, me and you have been streaming around the same time recently. I mean, good to have you, dude. Good to have you. Uh, so let's have a look at some stuff. If there's anything here you guys want to see, well, just say. I, I, I ideally try and avoid like long games rpg games you know stuff that, that that's interesting for the stream that's quite interesting gargoyles remastered uh, you can go between the new mode and like the old mode at the press of press of a button the same way you can do it in wonder boy uh, gunman clive has like an interesting art style uh, there's a whole bunch of decent games in it this is a really really good game man uh, mark of the ninja a very very good game so if you're, if you're into stealth games this game's really really good 
this is like a, a modern a modern wonder boy monster boy and the cursed kingdom but i kind of end up getting lost in there I got, I got really really far on it at one point and then i just couldn't find my way around man i had difficulties with the map somewhat but yeah we've got we've got a whole bunch of games and as you can see i've got i've definitely got more 2d games than i have 3d games right so uh this game i really like this is like a guilty pleasure right has anyone said anything here let's have a look also uh bears love gaming how you doing man wicked uh darius hd okay so let's do let's do darius we did that yesterday that's something that big al likes as well so okay cool let's go all the way back up to d because the best d is 2d and darius is well darius is bloody awesome right where are where are we where are you darius is it is it uh, man, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not bloody blind here right so alphabetical disney where, where are you darius is there something else in front of it does it is it called something else i'm, I'm getting nuts here right let me see if i can find it okay we've got gradius where are you darius so why can't you simply just be in d right brote oh capcom uh, okay so that's c oh here we go sorry darius here we go so which darius was it in the cosmic in there okay oh darius hd okay hopefully that's that's one of the ones in there yo shifty 246 good evening to you as well buddy yeah darius is good man you know like um yeah the fishes in there are just uh, absolutely excellent aren't they so is, is darius hd one of the games in here let's have a look new version darius gaiden all right shall we go should we go darius gaiden i don't i don't know which one uh the hd one is here so uh we'll go darius gaiden because i'm not sure training mode the practice mode he's all right you know we'll, we'll go normal mode Again, absolutely love the fishes in here. I hope everyone's like having a good night. I know many of you guys would have been back at work or depending on what part of the world you're in, you might actually be at work now, kind of sneak, sneaking some, um, you know, some YouTube in there. So here we go. Right. Good stuff. Oh, I think I've just, uh, I've kind of fired my main thing out there. I like the fact that this has got auto fire, man. It really does. Like when I was doing a Saturn stream yesterday, right, we were doing a lot of shmups in that, man um and it was it was tough it was it was tough smashing the button all the time when auto fire weren't there um guys one question right uh, all right I, I generally like playing old games on d-pads right and i'm very fussy about my d-pads like um the switch pro controller the d-pad's not bad it's accurate but it's a it's a little bit pointy on the edges right it's not the best control pad i mean you can't play street fighter on it but games like this are fine right but i don't mind playing shmops on analog stick right those are those are those are some games they kind of work all right for me on analog stick i don't i don't actually mind them uh, i prefer the d-pad but i can play them on analog stick so uh, with the switch when i was playing stuff in handheld mode right before i um before i got uh, before i got the hori left controller you know because it wasn't released initially when i was playing games something like a shmup would be okay on on the analog stick but something like a platform game like mario brothers or something i absolutely hate playing that on an analog stick in fact one thing that i'm not fond of a lot of the new metroidvanias right you have to play with the analog stick okay i kind of get it with metroid because of the way the aiming works but like something like prince of persia and some of the new ones like i like it if you have the choice right something like bloodstained you can use the d-pad or you can use the analog stick it's it's nice to have like the choice of both uh this is good guys a big shout out to mr walrus man he's uh he recently like one cc i think the saturn version of this game uh guys very very skillful man when he gets his um when he kind of gets himself set on this is a game i want to complete and do the guy does a good a very very good job of it, a good job of it and it's fun watching his uh one ccs in fact i think retro tuners uh, done a one cc of one of one of the worst games out there but i like it a lot and he likes it somewhat and that is um rastan saga 2 right which is which is it's known to be like the worst rastan game out there but i absolutely love it right it's it's just one of those one of those guilty pleasures and uh, retro tuner guys who's uh, in the audience today he's got a good he's got he's got a good channel he does a lot of streams uh you know it's someone that i consider like a, a fellow youtube friend uh do check out his channel but yeah he's he's skillful at games man he's uh he's one cc rastan and that's no walk in the park guys so uh, i'm gonna wait until i lose a life but guys you saw my games list um if there's anything that you want just say so and and we can uh, we can do that it's strictly uh, strictly uh, offline and it is strictly this stuff in fact i haven't renewed my um my nintendo subscription so 
Um, I'm, I'm trying to get my kids on PC. So my youngest one's got the Steam Deck. The middle one's got a laptop. He only plays Rocket League. Rocket League is free anyway if they play it on the Switch. You don't need the you don't need the NSO Online subscription for that. So um, yeah, so yeah, that's I'm kind of breaking away from the subscriptions. Uh, I'm not interested in a PS5. Right, lost the life. Let's do the next game. Uh, I'm not interested in PS5, uh, and I'm not in in interested in Xbox Series X. Uh, what have we got so good evening. oh yeah hurry gamer how you doing man um yeah we all want we all want the good old days to come back man let's have a look uh let's run let's run this for a second until someone picks a game oh guys i forgot to tell you we have got a special guest in today so if you're here for yesterday's stream we had uh sagato sanshiro today we have got one of the nintendo ninja lawyers objection <laughs> and they're in the house today ready to sue absolutely anyone i'm a mario i will sue you <laughs> please don't leave if that's if that's really annoying cool like i will turn it off but uh i kind of like putting these prompts out there um yeah where is the princess i want a good time i i i, I don't know what it's going to sound like after i watched the replay right um okay uh, blazing chrome duly noted have i got i have got blazing chrome on here yes i have i have um i wasn't sure because i bought it on steam as well like it was on, on steam it was like a pound oh if this runs a demo i don't need to play it so guys i, I really like pokey and rocky on on the snes and this is a very good modern like recreation of the game the issue that i have with it now is i just don't like the fact that you can't you can't lock your fire right you can't you can't fire like either straight up or you can't fire in a direction and start moving around so whichever direction you're facing is the direction you're shooting and i, and I think that's something they should have actually uh, added to that okay so this is pokey and rocky again looks absolutely brilliant play it and it is it is just a perfect recreation of like the original game from what i remember you know how the levels go how you kind of get through everything it just looks darn good uh so all right let's do blazing chrome uh here we go right blazing chrome and alphabetical oh yeah oh there's a lot of stuff for arcade archives isn't it, it kind of puts it right at the front right blazing chrome uh, i'm gonna play it on easy mode right so Let's do it in easy mode. Wicked. Yeah, it does. It does look really, really nice. And, and I feel it's a wasted opportunity. They kept it true to the original. But that kind of lock-on would be something that really would have been appreciated. It would have gone down really, really well. So, uh, right. Let's have a look. I'm going to put the volume up maybe just a tad. Just a tad to try and kind of get it out. Right. Okay. The arcade crew. Wicked. That is my crew, man. I like arcade. Hey, guys. If you're just tuning in. Uh, to the stream we're here we're looking at just strictly 2d 2d games on the on the nintendo switch because you know for me nintendo switch is it's a good 2d console right it's not great at 3d how dare you say that about the my switch okay so i'm gonna get sued by nintendo uh because mario's sounding like a weirdo right there uh but okay let's do some blazing chrome right we're all about the 2d um Right, and this game is wicked. This is a true spiritual successor to Contra, as far as I'm concerned. Until Konami get their finger out, right? And even the recent Contra, I, I didn't really dig it too much. Um, I, I don't know if I've, I might have deleted it off the Switch version. I, I don't think I've got it on here. So, do you know, what? I'm gonna go here, and if we've got an easy mode, no, okay. Uh, arcade mode, one play. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, let's let's go easy, uh, and I will pick a different character because I picked Doyle last time. I haven't unlocked anyone yet, have I? Mavra. Oh no, so Mavra is the first one. So let's go Mavra. Again, very, very cool game, man. Just just looks just looks plays the part. Looks looks and yeah, it's just really, really good. I think I've got the other game as well. It's called like Moon Something. That one's a little bit tricky. I definitely prefer this one because this one's like Contra, man. I kind of want to get that new game as well for the Neo Geo. What's it? Cyborg Justice or something? I've seen a few people play it. I think that's all. Uh, retro tuner playing it on his channel so that that looks that looks good uh the flamethrower especially looks good in that any 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 game with a flamethrower weapon i just absolutely love right i mean what is there not to love about flamethrowers um in other news guys i got the mio mini plus because it was 37 pounds man i couldn't say no to it uh and i grabbed it and you know what guys it was uh okay well, well i'm not a fan of this weapon too slow firing yeah the mio mini plus 
very very easy to put the custom OS on it like really like they've made a toolkit which is with a bunch of batch folds that runs you through everything it's just a matter of adding a BIOS and ROMs after but it's very very good I haven't played it for a long time yet to find out whether it's uncomfortable I'm sure it'll get uncomfortable over um, long periods of time but I really do like it uh, the screen on it's good it runs like DS I tried running um, Dawn of Sorrow ROM hacks on there, I've got like a Mario Brothers one and it ran really really well, it's very very intuitive, it just works really really well, oh okay I should really jump around and do a little bit of dodging, I do like how you can have four weapons in this as well, as opposed to like the two that you've got in uh, Contra Spirits, like I'll be, I'll be kind of referencing Contra 3 to this because it's the one it reminds me a lot of, it kind of reminds me of you know the, the SNES on steroids right, um, you know, or maybe maybe something like this can work on the SNES now because what's what's good now is when we look at like a lot of modern uh, a lot of modern games that are released for older consoles, they're really really pushing the boundaries, man. In particular, like I really like um, there's a Capcom vs SNK game for um, for for the Commodore 64. In fact, there's a Mighty Street Fighter that's just come out for 128k Amstrad. Uh, I'll, I'll likely be featuring that on the news channel uh, over the weekend. Uh, but yeah, Capcom vs SNK on the Commodore 64, wow, one button, it just works amazingly well guys, like, so I wonder if something like this would be possible on the SNES, you know, someone really understanding the technology somewhat 30, 35, whatever, yeah, well, yeah, 35 years later, how old the SNES is, and they're getting something like this coming out for it, I mean, I'm, not, I'm happy to play, I, I got this on the Switch originally, because I like handheld stuff, but then on the, on the Steam Deck, uh, on Steam I saw it for like it was cheap, it was under a pound man and I was like I can't say no to that but even though I, I prefer kind of playing this on the Steam Deck only for uh, sorry um, on the Switch only because that Hori left Joy-Con when I'm playing stuff in handheld mode is ooh wow okay is very very good and also I've got the Hori split controller I like it a lot but it kind of gets away that portability element of the Switch which I really really like it makes it it makes it really really big as wide as the Steam Deck so that's cool, but guys, this game is just wig, wiggly, wiggly, wow, wow. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, wow, what weapon is that? Have I got a bomb? Have I got a bomb like Contra? Okay, we got that one. Right, what's next, guys? Because we kind of played this uh, a little while. Guys, let me know some games. We can definitely go through my list again. And, and I'll go through the list again, guys. Just so we can, uh, we, you know, you guys have got an idea of what's there. Uh, I've played some of these games. Some of them I haven't played. Uh, a lot of games I, I kind of got for... A lot of games I got for free. So that's why I've got a lot of games. I haven't, haven't like, I, I didn't buy... I, I bought a lot of these, but I didn't buy all of these. So let's have a look. Um right okay so just kind of gang through here guys if there's anything you want to see guys if you're just tuning in we're do doing uh the best the best d is 2d uh, i know there's there's some girls out there that might disagree th disagree to that but the best d is definitely 2d so here we go let's have a look at some toll plan games uh while you guys pick something so try and pick something out there guys and uh, we can definitely definitely play that and uh yeah you should not to be playing Japanese games on your UK Switch. Okay, so there we go. We had a little representation there from Lawyer Mario. Ready to sue anyone, guys? Uh, don't look at this stream wrong. You can, you can get yourself, uh, um, you can get yourself sued. This, this, this stream can get you sued. Um, JG Rich, yeah, man, I, I, I love the, I absolutely love the Switch. I've got six in the household, man. I've got six switches in my household. Like we, we've, we've all, we've all got them. So, uh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. That's nice. I forgot about this. So you've got an arcade Mega Drive Genesis version. You've got like the NES version. Uh, okay. So, oh, what a nice look! It shows you the arcade hardware. So, guys, we're we're not doing um, FPGA gaming today, right? So, I think this is is this same, same, same. Yeah, same, same, same. It's got to be three words. So. Fire Shark, the Japanese version. Um, so we've got we've got a, a one version of this, haven't we? Via via Cock uh, Cock Release Group, the Coin Up Collection. Um, they've they've released one version of this, but I don't think they've released same same same. Or I can't remember. I can't remember if they've released Fire Shark and are yet to release same 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 or the other way around. I can't fully remember. Um, 
Hey, you know what? I, I refuse to answer that question, JG Rich. You know why? Because we have the Nintendo Nintendo Ninja Lawyer in the house, right? So, uh, but what I will say is, in the house, um, I've got three unmodded switches and i've got three modded switches that's that's just how it goes i've got a whole bunch of games on there um but i have got retroarch installed uh on on the homebrew switches that i like so as far as everything is concerned um everything is legit right you know pixel cherry ninja is legit to the bone right we are a legit channel uh and if you say otherwise i have lawyers on retainer i'm gonna sue you okay so just be careful guys um uh, Okay, let's let's try and do this. How do we put in credits? Let's put in some credits. Right, uh, noted uh, re Retro Tuner Zero Fight. Is it in this collection or is it the other one? I can't bloody remember. Hopefully I'll find it though. Right, how do we start? Do I just press start? Is it is it as simple as pressing start? Yep. I always get confused when I play the Switch uh, with the Pro Controller. I forget which one the home button and the plus button is just because I, I, I don't really... Apart from when I'm doing this stream, that's, <laughs> I guess that's the only reason I got the dock. Oh no, I did play... Um, I did play uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild a lot, um, docked. But my kids were a lot younger then, they weren't gaming as much. So uh, they were like iPad gaming back then uh, when I was playing Breath of the Wild. So... Uh, I, I, I had the chance I could play it in the front room on a TV, but those days are gone now, so it's, it's strictly handheld. Um, I kind of want to play like Metroid, um, Metroid Prime Remastered, man, but wow, I can't, I just kind of can't find my way around it, man. I'm so bad at it, and, and it's something that I originally played, but I never completed on the GameCube. Uh, and when I tried going back to it, I really disliked the controls. I, I couldn't do the controls, but then I played it on the Steam Deck, which had... The Wii version kind of mapped out really, really well, but the Switch version, it really, really is the best. It's done a great job uh, of uh, playing out. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, it's that easy mode. I didn't fire that bomb, you know? That was interesting. That was like when I was going to get hit by the bullet, it fired the bomb. Let me try and go into a bullet. Can I actually lose a... Wow! Do you see that, guys? Let me let me try and die. I'm not going to fire, right? Let's try and go... Okay, so you can die. So if I've got a bomb, it kind of fires the bomb as you're about to get hit by the by the fire okay that's 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 actually kind of interesting so let's go to um no no not return to game option settings okay can we how do we get out of here man game reset okay cool what's nice is when you buy some foreign um games right for the switch uh if your region is set to like like europe you'll get like a european um you'll get a european version of the game how do i just just let me exit the game so oh okay cool maybe this is it oh, okay cool right so what was that game zero fire right zero fire is this one of the ones in here okay no that's sky shark so that was same 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 sky shark again okay so maybe it's this other one right Okay, I was hoping you could go to the top and it brings you all the way to the bottom, right? So, oh, it's here, Zero Fire, that's it. Wicked. This one's for you, my buddy, Retro Tuner. And the funny thing is, guys, you want to hear something really, really funny, right? Retro Tuner doesn't actually like Tuner. You, you surely would think someone with Tuner in their name, right, would like Tuner. Like, I, I'm a big Tuner fan. I like Tuner Steaks. Uh, I like um, I like Tuner mayonnaise um tuna mayonnaise and sweet corn right even with a bit of cucumber and lettuce like i absolutely love tuna sandwiches it's it's one of my pleasures when i'm at work and i have like a late breakfast uh tuna mixed from home with sweet corn usually sometimes a bit of lettuce and cucumber but that's always optional and i go and get a fresh baguette from marks and spencer's which are really really good i've got a waitrose near my work as well and their baguettes are dead. They're not baked properly. Their baguettes are terrible. Marks and Spencer's, they do a good baguette, right? And um, so um, I get a baguette. I whack the tuna in there. And it is, wow, it is fantastic, man. Uh, it is just so, so nice. Uh, so, yeah, man, I like that. But Retro Tuna doesn't like tuna. Uh, I'm called Pixel Cherry Ninja. I like pixel-style games. I definitely like cherries. And I definitely like ninjas. <laughs> But hey, so Retro Tuna, how did you come by that name, right? Like, how did you come by Retro Tuna since you don't like tuna? Was it, was that a name you were given? Were you given tuna? What do people call you tuna? And then you're like, you know, I'm doing a channel. Let me call it, well, let me call it Retro Tuna. I mean, that would, that would kind of make sense, right? Um, but I wonder, I wonder. Let us know anyway.
Obviously, if you want to share it, not, not, I don't want to put you on the spot. Greg's tuna baguette. Yeah, do you know what? I eat. Yeah, I, I kind of dig. Uh, um, um, I, I dig Greg's. Right. Greg's also have. Um, no, uh, they have good donuts. Right. So my kids like the Krispy Kreme donuts. So what I often do is, um, Krispy Kremes do. A, you know that too good to go thing, right? So what you do is you, um, you go there. You get like six donuts for like under a fiver right it's like one third of the price so i get those however i as for myself i prefer the greg donuts right because then they're, they're not they're sweet but they're not as sweet you know they're not coated they're not coated in sugar like uh crispy cream ones and then with the toppings on top so i do like two nuts show me okay but everything else is hanging right oh cool cool here we go okay tuna my bro i haven't really played this game before you know was it called Zero Wing? Yeah, I can't even remember what it's called. But uh, yeah, I haven't. Um... Oh, oh, well, I, li I like. Oh, can I? Okay, that's a good strategy towards it, right? So you can um, suck some of the smaller ones in. I really wish. Oh, there's auto fire here as well. That's that's decent. Okay, that's nice. A nice quality of life thing here. Uh, one of the buttons is auto fire. Oh, okay. I got done. I don't mind. I can, I can take the gap in between. I'm, I'm not usually a fan of like the gaps in there, but I feel I feel that's okay. Get closer as well. And uh, wow, look at that. That's a good power up. I like this. Shot. Okay, is it worth me holding that down? I wonder. Will that will that take care of stuff for me? I'm gonna I wanna hold it down. I wanna be cheap, right? Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Again, I'm, I'm kind of digging this, right? I like it because I like it where you get good power-ups and I can <laughs> I can suck it in and pull it out. That's wicked. Oh, that sounds dirty, doesn't it? I can suck it in and pull it out. <laughs> okay. All kind of digging all the different fire modes here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Tuna, this is wicked. Absolutely love it. This is a troll game. Here you go, bud. Catch. Let's try and... Okay, I think that speed is, is decent enough now. <laughs> Got shot. I was getting a little bit carried away. So guys, um, if you want to see a 2D... Um, if you want to see a 2D uh, Nintendo Switch game, uh, that's on the list. We can have a look at them. I mean, guys, what do you think? Should we, um, should we do some emulation after? We can uh, we can do some. I've got I've definitely got Retro Arch installed in here, but uh, maybe maybe not. Maybe not. Actually, you know, maybe not because we have got we have got a Nintendo Ninja taking part in this stream. So don't really want to get into trouble, man. Nintendo, you can't really mess with Nintendo, man. They'll they'll come and they'll just come and sue everyone, man. They'll sue. Uh, yeah, they'll literally DMCA. They're very, very smart in how they're taking down emulation now. Um, you know, rather than getting off the emulation directly, they're kind of like highlighting other stuff. Yeah, it's a good game, man. This is a good game. Has anyone mentioned anything else in the comments? I'll have a look. If I look away at comments now, I'm bound to explode. But uh, yeah, these games are good, man. These these smart, oh, wicked. Glad, kind of glad I got shot there. Hopefully, it says game over. Good one. Uh, right, wicked. Oh, man, yeah, custard. I, I like I like the chocolate. It used to be the Boston cream in Dunkin' Donuts. When I got introduced to that, that was my uh, my favourite one uh, out of all the all the donuts. Right, uh, a guy, a friend of mine that used to work in Carnaby Street introduced me to it, and I was like, yeah, that's wicked. Oh, Street Fighter Third Strike. That's that's gonna be a pain to play. But oh, I wonder if I've got that actually, because I, I think I've got the thirty fifth anniversary. I'm not sure if I've got the 30th anniversary on here anymore. I've got the cart for it, uh, but I don't think I've got it installed at the moment. Uh, but, oh, I have. Okay, cool. I have got it. All right, okay. Let's do some first strike. First strike is it's it's terrible to play on this man on a pro controller. It's 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 like it's like trying to drive a a, a Ferrari with a with a with a with a, with a with a with a handlebar, right? You know, you got a Ferrari. Wow, excellent! But here we go. Let's let's now do it with a handlebar. So, um, we'll have a quick round on it because I'm I'm here to whatever you guys will re request. If it's on here and it's 2D, we'll we'll do it, right? I'll try and avoid any RPG. So if you say, oh, can you play like um, what's that one called? Uh, the one with eight stories, Octopath Traveler. And or if you go like uh, li li live to live or life to live, whatever it's called, if you say something like that, it's it's just not worth doing those. Um, it's not worth doing 
those yeah it's just not worth doing those rpgs they just take too long oh what am i doing no am i am i going in the wrong thing here what's oh offline that's it okay put the volume up a little bit here i feel i feel like this it's a bit low for this game oh, mind you when first strike kicks in usually the volume for that game is high see i've never really played any of the other street fighter 3 games right i've, I've just Third Strike is the one that I've always played. Okay, I can see I've got scan lines and, and borders and stuff on. Well, we'll leave it as it is, right? Um, let me see. Oh, I might need to do buttons. And Can I do buttons here? Or Okay, yeah. So I have them a little bit funny with, with this here. So uh, medium punch should be... Oh, come on. Oh, nice. Okay. Heavy punch. Uh, light kick. Oh, no. Come on. Okay, so light kick. Yep. Medium kick heavy kick okay hopefully that's okay oops what am i doing how do i how do i start this oh, okay cool so um yeah i absolutely hate the, the the street fighter theme music soundtrack whatever you know three two one and oh, I, I i i i cannot stand it i hate it with a passion Especially, you know, when you play it a lot and you play like online edition on the Xbox. Okay, I can, I can do some combos, but it, it is difficult on pad. Okay, ah, uh, not too, not too bad, not too bad on on pad. I'm quite, I really do like this game, guys. If you like this game, play Fightcade. Let's see if I can do cancel attachment, which is a bit difficult. Nope. Okay. <laughs> so I need to play fight kid. I used to try and get that uh, taunt finish on people because you know it really would annoy them. Uh, but I would only do that if someone was uh, getting annoying. Let's take another round. That didn't actually go... That went better than I expected on a, on a pro controller, right? But this game, you, you need to play it on stick, man. It's, it's a must. I know people can play on pad. And they, I've seen people play really, really well on pad, man. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't do it that well on pad. Okay, that might finish him. Okay, but that certainly did. Okay, third strike. Um, the 30th anniversary collection is all right on this, right? But um, it was kind of all right to play Street Fighter in bed. I did play it online a little bit, but the net code isn't very good for this. Okay, right, wicked. Um, this game's a lot of fun, guys. Uh, if you haven't played Third Strike, uh, if you've got a PC, definitely, definitely, without a doubt, check out Fightcade, man. Fightcade is just absolutely superb. Um, 
cannot recommend it enough like it is it is that good should we have a look at uh, okay um let's have a look at wonder boy right because there's something i really like about these sega games that they brought out i really like how you can go between uh, the modern display and an old display it just looks really really good um marvel versus capcom 2 okay slightly off topic lol what's going on here uh Sam holding spurs to one okay wow okay um no no worries man talk about anything you want here guys uh, I, I like it like for me the reason i like doing these streams right and honestly like when it comes to like views i'll get more views on normal videos uh, when it comes to even the money i get from youtube um it's more from there i i, I always set for uh, for streams i set it to like the least amount of adverts possible that are the option that i've got for them i really enjoy doing them so guys it's an open floor just you know respect one another talk about whatever you guys want like i, I i'm good with it man yeah, for me this is this is actually me socializing right i i enjoy so yo love how you doing man love game dev wicked um yeah so i i i see this as socializing um there's a friend of mine um uh the ypsilon jose bg and he kind of put it because he streams on Twitch and he said, look, it, when he streams, it's, he, it's like he's socializing because you remember when you were young and you used to play one player games and you would take turns with your friends and your friends would watch. He said it's like that. And I thought, you know, that's actually a really, really good way. There was also someone else that I spoke to and they were a little bit, they, they, they were suffering from COVID and were in isolation. And I said to them, look, if you start streaming, and you know you get a few people watching and you're talking to them it kind of gets rid of all that you know that anxiety that you have or the depression that you might have it's it's definitely like i like it <laughs> sorry being carl Salvino, i smashed the candles now if i remember correctly pressing look at that i mean wow guys we're going back to the old wonder boy now right but at any time you just press it and it changes it right now i have to say the old one just looks so much more simpler. You know exactly what's going on, right? I mean, the new one's not bad. That looks really good. I mean, this is this is how um, this this should be the gold standard for any 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 modern remake, right? That's a like for like remake. I mean, this would be something nice in in Pokey and Rocky, right? Where you can um, where you can go between original and uh, you can go between original and old mode at the press of a button. Like, wow, guys! Like, seriously. Oh, you can change the music to new and old as well from what i remember actually but again look how good the animation is and this is why i, I love the switch i love like getting, getting to bed right and then you, you know chilling out and playing this stuff here i mean since doing youtube right I'm, I'm definitely not playing anywhere near as much as i used to right that's again another reason why i like doing these streams i mean there might come a point i think maybe when monster hunter wilds comes out next next year and i want to play that right now i'm burnt out with monster hunter i've played so much world and and for you that when i turn on monster hunter and play it it actually makes me sick like i, I love the game don't get me wrong i play with my kids sometimes like i give them a hand with a hunt but man the game just makes me all oh, utterly and totally like uh, i think it's just uh, i've burnt out so much with it when i play it now when i do a hunt and it lasts like half an hour like a tough one on master rank it feels like a chore i'm not getting any pleasure out of it in fact i don't even know why i've got it on my rog ally where i'm kind of limited for space i kind of i guess i've got it on there in case one of my kids say like dad dad can we play monster hunter and i'm like all right we'll play a bit of monster hunter but let's check out alex um See, again, look really, really good. Uh, see, I think Monster Hunter Wilds, uh, maybe I'll do it on Twitch. When I play it, I just want to stream one game so I can actually play and kind of do stuff together. So, um, Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX. Uh, let's let's have a look at this now. Um, in, in, in the modern mode for this, I think Wonder Boy has done a better job. The modern version for it, the, the, the hitboxes feel off to me, man. Uh, so, yeah, not, not exactly... Not the biggest fan of this. I prefer the original, to be honest. Um, right. True comparison. Yeah, I know. Wicked Retro 20. Yeah, streaming's a lot of fun, man. It's it's definitely a lot of fun. Uh, recently, I'd like, I was going to make a video today. I actually wasn't even sure what I was going to make. But I've, I've got like a list of, of videos that I know I want to make. I was going to go through one of them today. But then my Mio Mini Plus turned up. So I played with that little pit. I put like the custom firmware on there and everything. And I really, really liked it. Um, I think uh, 
Objection! I don't like a Sega mascot! Okay, so we've had, the, we've had our Nintendo lawyer Mario Wright come in and say even though he's getting money for this game being on the Nintendo Switch he's still salty because he'd rather have like a Mario game. <laughs> Okay, let's let's get out of this. So let's get into the game. Right. Again, it looks it looks so good, doesn't it? Right? Let's Okay, I like this, right? Because this here, the soundtrack just swaps. So I want to put my, my TV soundtrack up. The soundtrack just swaps as soon as you press it. Is, is that guy even stuck there? Oh, he was, was that? I don't remember that guy being in the original. Oh, you can't talk to him then. Okay, cool. Let's, uh... Do you remember you had to learn all the patterns for, uh... Was it sticks and stones, right? We used to call it spud first change here. Ori, you might... Uh, Ori, did you call this spud first change? Spud first change! Uh, at least that's how we used to say it in school, right? Um, so yeah, that's how, that's how we used to call it. Ooh. I should have gone down the other way to get more of those, never mind. Or can I? Again, it does kind of look all right, doesn't it? I mean, as far as... <laughs> you were one-hitting this, right? This was tough, then. One hit and you're dead, man. All right, let's just go back down. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this... this I really used to like this game. This was built into the Master System that I had. You know, I don't want to get that box, right? Ah, come on, I was kind of hoping to jump down and punch that thing, man. This game's a lot harder than uh, I remember it being. You know what, let's, let's, I don't even want to, I was kind of hoping to get to, like, the water bits, because the water bits are even worse than, like, the normal ones, right? Let's look at the new version. I feel like he should have an energy bar in this, right? They made it, they made this quite difficult, didn't they? Can't mean something good. <laughs> right, I want to do something else, guys. Spot first, yeah. <laughs> Spot first, change here, man. That's, that's how it went, right? Okay. Again, like such a great job of how they've, how you can, how you can just change it. At, at a, at a, but this this game is really really good though, man. Uh, Love this on the Master System. So this was like Sega's mascot in the early days, right? You really want to get the money, right? Because you're gonna get to the shops after, aren't aren't you? Well, I doubt I am, but um. Oh, here we are. Look at that. <laughs> I have to say, these older games just look so much, they're, they're so much clearer to look at, right? Everything's, everything's just very, very clear, whereas in, in, in newer ones, you kind of have to, um, you kind of have to look at it and pay a little bit of attention. Where was that kind of octopus that you got to duck through? See, this was annoying. Over here, this frog part especially, it was weird. Ah! You know what? This is, that one hit is unforgiving, man. This is a game where I, I actually wouldn't mind cheats. Right, let's close this. Has anyone actually said anything? Uh, RMC, the cable was developing one. For, okay, cool. Um, oh, handheld mister. No, there's there's nothing. There's nothing really on that, guys. This game's really good as well, right? So this is this is a cheap one. Like I I bought this for. It was definitely under three pounds, right? But I I really do like this game. I think it's a good game. It gets it gets tough further down. Okay, Wonder Boy Bobby, right? Wicked. Sorry, gonna open my drink here. Today's drink is Tango Dark Berry.
Yeah, so you, you see a lot of games I haven't started, right? Because this is this is the OLED switch, so my, my launch switch um, has got a lot of my stuff on there and I, I didn't transfer a lot of stuff over, so I kind of went went like new with it. So there's a lot of stuff on here that really I've, I would have never played. Um, is this the... Uh, oh, there, there is, I think Chasm is available. I'm not sure if I've got it. If I have, we'll do it. But this game, a Ageless, what's it called? Ageless or Age Loss? Uh, age loss, right? Or Agilos? I, I, I don't know how you're gonna say it. Um, but again, it looks good. It plays well. The levels. I, I don't know. I, I just really like this game, man. I uh, really, really just thought it was a thought it was a good game. Yeah, I, I, I like this game a lot, man. Like, I, I played this when it first came out. I played it, and like with everything, I got to a certain point, I stopped playing it, and then I was like, what do I do in this game anymore, right? But definitely, if you see this on sale, and, I, and it goes very, very cheap on sale. You know, some games are a little bit of a knock to buy, right? Uh, some, whoops, some, some are, some are very, very good value when they go on sale, like Snow Brothers. That goes really, really cheap when it goes on sale, so that's well worth picking up. Uh, age loss is well worth picking up we're just looking we're talking 2d stuff here yeah uh, because that's what we're about right um the reason that i'm doing these switch streams is uh, i want to play stuff and i want to have a look at all the 2d stuff right okay give it a go you have no we have nothing against you you're refusing uh prepare to die okay i'm gonna get myself son <laughs> lies of lumen Okay, you could definitely take shelter in my house. Okay, oh, you have to go through a secret passage. Okay, that sounds interesting. I'm down with that. There is a cave. Okay, the forest. Okay, west of the castle. Right, there's a passage there. Okay, I was thinking something else, but never mind. We can go down there. Okay, so this is a save point, I think. Hey, I have a save now in case we want to continue, okay. Okay, that beer reminds me of the beer from Legendary Axe. Retro Tune, I don't know if you've played this, but this is this is a good game, man. I don't know if it's out for anything else. I imagine it is, right? Can't can't just be out for Switch. Again, I, I dig this game, man. Soundtrack, everything, everything about. I think you have to go under the water and then go through. Surely you should be able to swim up, right? No. Right. Okay. Let's move on to another game, guys. Come on, help me out here. Pick, pick a game. Uh, in the meantime, I'll pick... Okay, let me go through my games list again so you guys can kind of see what's what, right? So here we go. We've got we've got all these games here. Anything anything 2D, remember, we can do because the best D is the 2D. And here we go. So there's a whole bunch of games on here. We'll try and avoid anything that's long and it's going to have like a massive intro. Unless like the intro is really entertaining to watch, uh, we can do that. This, guys, this game's actually good. Uh, Princess Peach Showtime. It's actually... It's surprisingly entertaining uh and i kind of like there was a princess peach game for the uh, the nds not the 3ds the normal ds uh, i thought that was i thought that was decent I, li I like that a lot uh so let's go gunman clive and let's oh did i have chasm i don't think let's have a quick look in c uh no i ha i haven't got it i haven't i haven't got it right okay let's go back out let's go gunman clive uh, which I which I like which I like the look of uh, a lot. Oh, it's called a uh, Retro Tuna. The game we were playing is called Age Loss. Uh, let me just show you. Here, you guys, this one here, Age Loss. A G G E L O S. It's, it's good, and it it goes on sale on on. I don't know what the normal price is. Uh, I don't remember it being too much, but it does go on sale for very very cheap, right? Um, now this game is style from what I remember. Uh, yeah, we definitely want. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Chief. And let's go easy. We want to give Chief an easy time. 
Again, I really like the art direction of this game. I think it looks, I think it looks nice. Oh, okay. Maybe I should have picked someone with a gun. <laughs> oh, look at that. Guys, does anyone remember um, the kind of 80s movies called Thunder about the, the Native American, right? They're like action movies, but they're like budget movies, right? Can that attack me? I can. How am I getting hit by a duck, man? I'm like a fearless Native American warrior, man. I can't even aim my thing up. Can I go indoors like uh, Rolling Thunder style? Again, looks really, really good, right? Looks really, really nice. Really, really nice. Why have you got ducks in there, man? That's just kind of lame, right? But you know what? I'll poke. I'll make some. Uh, I'll make some chow mein out of you, duck. I'll get there like a birthday cake or something. It is. I got myself a birthday cake. Okay, good stuff. Well, okay, at least it's not Castlevania style hit back. Come on, can I not go in that shed? No. I mean, why put the shed there if I can't go in there, right? Did this start off as a mobile game? I can't, I can't remember, you know? I think this might have been a mobile game. Uh, a zoo striker gun vault. If I've got that on there, then yeah, cool. After image of 2D game, yeah. Hey, yo, Dimitri in the house, how you doing? Right, let's go straight to, um, let's go to after image. It's, it's a Metroidvania. And yeah, so it's, it's a Metroidvania. Uh, and and but we can start it. Hopefully it can get quite big. Uh, so hopefully we can get into the game quite quickly. Uh, where is it? Where the hell is? Huh? Oh, you know what? It's gonna be in between arcade archives, isn't it? Here we go. It's here, right? Kind of like skipping all that stuff during arcade archive. Wicked. Uh, the chas the chas chasm I didn't have. Um, Charlie Cat, yo, meow, meow, Charlie Cat. How you doing, man? Anthony, hope you're well. So glad you made the stream, guys. Anthony, or sorry, Charlie Cat is, 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 in fact, I'll go as far as saying the nicest person I've ever met on the internet. The guy is just absolutely wholesome. What a nice guy, man. Very, very nice guy. Just, just, yeah, really does take the time. Really goes out of his way to be nice to people. So, uh, Charlie Cat, really, really, really glad you're here. Honestly, you're a... You're, 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 you're a great person within the retro gaming community. Wow, we've done 52 minutes already. Time certainly flies, right? Um, now, one one criticism about this, uh, I think I've got, I think I played this on PC more than Switch, right? So one criticism is, I remember the controls being feeling a little bit bloaty on this, uh, from what I remember. It's not a bad game though. It was it was good. Um, I was speaking to the developer while they were making it. And I think I got like a preview of it or a demo of it uh, before I started doing FPJ stuff. I kind of covered it on the channel. Well, it's definitely taking a long time to load. I kind of want. I kind of want to pick up another switch light. I don't have a switch light for myself. I've only got an OLED for myself. Uh, the kids have the others between them. Uh, but I want to pick up like a light one uh, that I haven't, you know, done anything to, um, just to kind of play stuff on. Uh, but yeah, this this game's this game's this game's decent. It's a Metroidvania. I like Metroidvanias. But I still need to uh, get the good endings Jesus in in Bloodstained as well as what else am I playing? I kind of need to start Prince of Persia. Uh, I'm trying to play Castlevania on Android. I just need to shut up and play a game. Maybe I can uh, maybe I can actually do Cyberpunk. I'm enjoying Cy Cyberpunk. Is good. I'm playing it on the Rogue Ally. Wow, what a what a game, man. Um, the kid. Wicked. Yeah, Cy Cyber Cyberpunk 2077 is is really good, right? Let's just skip all of this, right? Let's let's not watch all of that. That was it. Didn't look like the most entertaining intro. Again, okay. So this is one of the Metroidvanias. Look, I can't do anything with a D-pad. You can hear me match my D-pad now. I'm bringing it close to the mic. Um,
that you have to use an analog stick, which, which I can handle, right? Yeah, and we have been returning. And it was all racing. Madam Seth. Oh, I'm, I keep pressing the D-pad. Okay, so it's going to tell me B to jump. I kind of figured that out as well, okay. The old uh, Castlevania hop down or the Shinobi hop down, whatever you want to call it. And it doesn't feel like it's... It doesn't feel 60... Okay, hold B to jump higher. It doesn't hold... Um, it doesn't feel like a 60 FPS experience here. I haven't looked at it, the frame rate, but... Um, Yeah, so the thing is, I I think if you've got like a Steam Deck, this this will be better on. Uh, oops, sorry, this will be better on a Steam Deck. Uh, yes, definitely. Look, it, 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 there's there's performance issues with this. It's very very clear. There's performance issues with this. What have I just picked up? Okay, oh, I don't. This is a decent game. I kind of remember the first getting to the first boss on this, and and the, the first boss encounter was actually all right. Do you know there's a Metroidvania I can't stand. I've tried playing it a few times, and that is a Hollow Knight. I know people love it, and I don't know why the sequel's taken so long, but I guess it is. Um, yeah, not really, not really for me. Can I can I wall bat? Can I wall jump? Oh, okay, there's a vine I can climb. No? Okay. Uh, it has a decent map though, so I'll give it that. Got a metal soundtrack. I do, I'll tell you what, I do like stuff with Air Dash though, that just feels very, very cool. Right, that's it. Alright, let, let's try something else. I really don't fancy playing this. Yo, Alan's in the house. How you doing, man? Uh, glad you could uh, join us. Alan, we have Charlie Cat in the house today as well. As well as regulars like uh, um, Ori the Retro Gamer uh, and uh, and Retro Tuner. Retro Tuner's in the house as well. So let's go. Let's see, uh, was there another request in there? I can't remember, was there a request in there? Did I, did I agree to something that I haven't shown? I think, no, someone, someone mentioned the game. Let me have a look, they mentioned something. Let me try and find it, sorry, bear with me guys. Off the image, was it, was it something before that? Someone mentioned the game and I said I'll have a look at it and I bloody lost it in chat. Oh, oh, Azure Striker, that's it, Azure Striker Gunvolt. That kind of, you know what, that game rings a bell, but I actually think I've got that on the 3DS, the Azure Strikers Part 1 and Part 2. Yeah, so we, I haven't got Azure Striker, sorry about that, but if there's anything else there, uh, we can have a look at. Let's have a look at a retro game that hopefully will come out for the Mister, right, and it's not currently out. So, the Neo Geo games are out, so that's that's cool. Uh, well, okay, the Neo Geo stuff is out. Okay, so 64th Street Detective. This is something that should be coming out soon. This is something uh, the Cock Release Group are working on, the coin-up collection. Uh, they, it's, it's part of the Jellico Mega System 1 games, and it's, it's one of the games they haven't actually released yet, but it's, it's one of the games that will likely come should they decide to release it for, like, the Mr. Heho Trezoractor! How's it going, my bro? Wicked, wicked. Thanks for the, thanks for the ping earlier, man. I did pick up on that, but I did. I, I always, um, I always appreciate that. So yeah, I may, I may well be. Uh, I've got a friend trying to hook me up with an analog pocket at the moment, which, which might be the best solution for me. Uh, so, but hopefully, I'll find out whether that's a yay or a nay. Um, and uh, if not, then yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a white one on on Friday. I've got a black one. I'll buy one to play. Wicked. There's some funny guys in this, man. There's some there's some funny enemies in this. I really, I really, I like the soundtrack for this, man. Mm. 
Yeah, let's have a little bit of an apple. There's these guys with these uh, big heads in there, right? And and I swear it's like you can uh, punch their head and it looks like their head's exploding. Which uh, which looks kind of interesting. Now this isn't the best beat em up out there, but by by no means is it the worst beat em up either. And, and I'll kind of like, when this comes out for like Mr. and Analog Pocket, yeah, I'll, I'll enjoy playing this, man. See, I, I don't know this game well enough, so when I'm playing it even on the Switch, it, it doesn't it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel bad. I, 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 you know, I never really played this in the arcades, uh, so I, I won't know this accurately. There's a game called Saint Dragon uh, on here. That, that one feels off compa compared to like the FPJ implementation we've got, so uh, I'm sure... Obviously, these aren't going to be perfect, but, you know, a lot of them are good jobs done bringing them over to the Switch. So, you know, unless you know the game really, really well, they, they, often there are a good option to play. Um, I'm especially a big fan of the M2 ports, man. The M2 stuff is just really, really good. Uh, the Castlevania Advanced Collection, really, really good. Done really, really well. Really, really well. Very, very good way to play them um, on there. You know, play Circle of the Moon, play... Um, Area of Sorrow or, um, sorry, Harmony of Dissonance and Area of Sorrow being the last one. And Area of Sorrow is the, the best one on the Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Advance. Uh, I like all three of them though. I know a lot of people don't actually, uh, I know a lot of people don't like, um, what is it, what is it, uh, Harmony of Dissonance. I like that. A lot of people, they don't think highly of uh, Circle of the Moon as well. Uh, I, li I like all three of them, man. All three of them are, are great games as far as I'm concerned. But our Area of Sorrow is, is definitely the best one out of the bunch. Again, really like this soundtrack. I think this, this soundtrack, we might be able to use this for a Saturday news show. What do you think, Al? Soundtrack for this Saturday news show, back in soundtrack. I like I like the avatars for the, the 64th Street as well. They they definitely do good, um, good like avatars for the game. So let's see if there's anything else that's not quite out. So let's have a look at Don Doka Don. So I used to play this on the PC Engine, right? Uh, so this, uh, <laughs> nice one now. So this one here on the PC Engine I used to play, and it's, I think it's got, it's got something to do with the Bubble Bobble universe, right? But I think the guys might even be called Bub and Bob. I don't know if it's a spin-off or exactly what the deal is over here, right? Maybe it'll say something on here. But it's like you're a couple of garden gnomes with hammers, but it's like your Bubble Bobble, more like Parasoli Stars, yeah? Ah, oh, wicked, oh yeah, nice one. Glad you're approved, man. Um, I might forget by the time Saturday comes, right? But let's have a look. Okay. Again, you know, we, the, oh, 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 so here's something really funny, right? That mini, that Mio Mini Plus I got, it had the Snow Brothers 3 on there. I've never played that before. I don't know if it's like some kind of bootleg or if it's a legit game. Ah, oh, man. I thought that was the attack button. So look, you, you, you hit them with your hammer, right? You beat the mushroom, and then you can, uh, oh, let's get that. And then you toss the mushroom. You toss the mushroom at another mushroom, right? So this game will be every vegan's nightmare, right? Yeah, yeah, you're killing all the mushrooms, right? Ah, <laughs> I thought I was going to get me. Let's see if we can get that potion up there. Okay, we got that. Does that give me anything? But yeah, I, I, I like this game, right? This game was um, on the PC Engine. And I really, really liked it. I think I saw it in a magazine, Don Doka Don, and I was like, wow, that looks amazing. And I, and I liked it. I liked it a lot. And this will, this will definitely be a good game for us. Uh... Ah. Wow, there's a lot of shrooms there, man. I kind of wanted to get that pee. Let's, uh, let's try and... <laughs> and just like those other ones, you know, we get the combo snow brothers, you roll the snowball, it goes around the level, and this is the same thing with this. Yeah, you get the big combos. We'll do one more stage, guys. Is there anything you guys want to see? Hit me up in block capital so it stands out in chat. And uh, I think you can, oh, I thought you could toss stuff up as well. Have I got a better hammer? Oh, the hammer just kills them now, right? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if this hammer's better, right? Because the fun in a lot of these games is to get that bonus, right? To attack, to uh, to chuck stuff at all of them, right? But you're not getting that here, so... Wicked. Alright, let's do another game. Did anyone come up? 
flashback wicked biz i need to reactivate oh yeah um yeah i see i didn't use my ubisoft account for a long time but since getting the rog ally i did sign into it again because yeah it's a bit scummy what they've done right you don't log in and you lose your digital purchases purchases i am so against digital purchases man i know you're going to see a lot of them over here but i did get uh, i i have i i did get a lot of these uh for free right there's a um, there's an organization out there that gives games as long as i i i do a video tweet or do something with them so i get i do get a lot of codes from uh from them or sometimes straight from devs but let's have a look oh wow this game guys ninja it's called ninja gaiden right i knew this as shadow warriors in the uk and i never saw it in the arcade this was in like a little calf near my house and they had this in there and i played this game and i fell in love with it right but you know what i have to say guys this is a janky game man very very janky janky is is, is the best way to describe it i love it because you're a ninja in it yeah, yeah, you can uh, you can kind of hang on to a lamp post and uh, is it actually loading? Okay. All right, there, there's an issue with that one. Let's see, let's see, let's see if it launches again. If not, we'll have to uh, do that. Oh yeah, you know Treasure Actor, Mother Russia bleeds. That's a super violent um, beat em up. No, I have, my, a friend of mine kept telling me to buy it, and you know what? I stopped buying it. I just stopped. I, I didn't buy it right because. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know why I, I didn't buy it. It was really cheap. It was like two pound, two pound fifty or something, right? I think this one's gonna crash. So there's obviously an issue here. Uh, yeah. All right. So no Ninja Gaiden. So right, let's have a look at something else. So what else have we got? Right. Um. What's, what did someone else mention down here? Yeah, Mother Russia bleeds. Is that so? Treasure Actor. Is that actually? A good game uh you know what let's have a look at in the hunt because we looked at the saturn version we've seen the arcade version what's it play like on the switch um so um yeah i don't know if mother russia bleeds is any any good like a friend of mine he's one of them guys that whenever it's on sale something's on sale he'll tell me oh that's on sale you should pick it up but he 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 likes collecting games so he'll just buy stuff when it's cheap okay i think this is going to crash as well getting the feeling it's going to crash same as uh yeah okay might have to leave some of those uh there might be some um account account restrictions on there or something in fact i, I don't even know uh but i'll have to look into those after uh what else can we look at guys anyone else catchy music piece here yeah definitely man some good soundtrack for some of these oh this was a game i hope this works now i hope i'm not having an issue with a lot of my arcade archive stuff Grilla war i really really liked man and, and i hope this does come out for the mister right um I like this game a lot. I used to play this. However, I, in the arcade where I used to play it, it had um, it had that rotational stick, right? You know, like the single one. So not a dual stick, a single stick with like with like an eight way, like an octagonal kind of pattern around the stick, and you could rotate that stick around. So I think this may have something to do with like Akari Warriors, uh, or yeah, I think it's got something to do possibly with Akari Warriors. But I really, really did like this game, man. Like like a lot. Like I played like one whole school term or something i must have spent all my lunch money on this game it was just really really good uh what'd be interesting to see here is i think they did a good job of that rotation maybe it's the right analog stick you can use to kind of get that done so again loved it um but you know when, when we're seeing these on modern displays now on lcd they don't really look uh that great I mean, play it's cheap uh okay cool wicked uh in regard to that okay so i've got buttons to rock okay so Oh wow, okay. So that's quite interesting. So the shoulder button. Oh wicked, wicked. The sh um it's like a dual stick shooter now. Which is better, right? The bazooka was really good. Oh, I shot the hostages. <laughs> I used to love that bazooka, man. I'm finding it a bit tricky to kind of do, but I, I really, really like this game. Uh, the tanks in this were really good as well. What's going on? Why why is he Okay, it's a bit weird the controls. Why is he aiming diagonally? I'm kinda of shooting straight up. Again, love the bazooka. It's hard to aim on this, but yeah, I I, I really hope. Uh, we get we get like a mister thing of this man let's get into that tank 
Oh, you know what? I can't do these controls, man. It's doing my head in. Uh, right, classic. Greenio Geo. Uh, okay, wicked. Uh, nice one, Charlie Cat. Yeah, I really do like Gorilla War, man. Um, Ori, yeah, so where, where did I used to, I used to play this on, on Hanley Road, right? Get, getting into specifics here. Hanley Road, Finsbury Park. Uh, it was like five minutes to get to from our school. So uh, we used to go, kind of go at lunchtime as well and go after school. It was very close to like one of my best friend's houses as well. Uh, but that's where I used to play it, and, and, and I absolutely loved the game. It was definitely my favourite game for a, for quite a long time. Um, what's this one here? Mazinger Z. So this is something uh, the Mars account was showing off. So, you know, again, don't really know much about this. Hopefully, okay, hopefully it doesn't crash. Some of these uh, arcade archive games are crashing for me. But if we can get this working. So this, this looked good, right? This is the one where, yeah, this is the one you're a flying robot, right? It looks really, really good. So... Let's go middle guy, right? You know, we might be a jack of all trades as is often the case. So guys, I want to keep this stream under two hours, right? Because, oh wow. What I can do is if it's under two hours, um, I can then just kind of upload it to Twitter as well. T Twitter has a two hour limit for the video and it's, it's just interesting putting it up there. So plus like, you know, I, I need to get sleep as well. So I like this, man. I like this game. I think Ban Presto made some, uh, some cool games, right? I mean, this is very, very cool. It's the kind of game my kids would, would kind of be like, oh, dad, that's cool, right? This is one of your old games that's not so crusty. You're flying around like a massive robot, right? Flying around and, um, well, you're shooting stuff like a like superhero style, right? Yeah, this is this is darn good, man. I, I, I like this. I don't know if it's the best shimmer pretty thing, but it's very, very stylish. Book. Oh, hold down the fire button there, and I kind of chucked out that little spinny thing. Let's try that again. Nice, like it. Oh. Nice. Okay, let's charge that up. Oh, look at that. Yeah, very, very stylish, man. Yeah, well, I'm kind of glad uh, glad we tried this game out, man. This is a this is a darn good looking game, and it's very, very it's very, very original for what it is. It just feels feels good. <laughs> I love what he says. It sounds like a Street Fighter move, right? Hey, you can do again. Wherever that is, hey, you can do again. Yo, Philly's in the house, man. Uh, I don't know about the two-hour limit on X, uh, Philly. Um, no, Philly. The, the two-hour limit is if you're if you're like a if you're a scumbag like me and you subscribe to Blue, then yeah, you can have two hours. Uh, but I think the normal folk out there, they can. I, I don't know what the limit is. Uh, I think that's one, and that's why I use it. Where I'm paying for it, I'm like, let me just add some videos to it as well, anyway. So that might be that might be alright. But we've still got we've still got like three quarters of an hour. So I try and do it if I yeah, I'll try and do it a little bit um a little bit under two hours. So let's go, let's move away from arcade archives, right? And and let's go and let's see, let's go further down a bit and try and find something. So we did rate Rod Land. Rod Land's really, really good. Rolling Thunder, Rolling Thunder 2. But alright, let's go away from arcade archives and what was something I wanted to see? There was something that I was like, okay, what's this one? Cosmic Fantasy. This is a Cosmic Fantasy, a collection. I think this is a collection of some old games. So let's let's check this out, right? Wiki is uh, Saturn Smiles. Yeah, you know, Phil, you're, you're right. There's a lot of good things um, on there. But you know what? I, I think putting stuff to shame is like, it's a bit of a strong term, right? There's, there's lots of games. Things are subjective. You know, I can like that game and still like games with the Saturn. Yeah, the, the Saturn has amazing shmups, man. I mean, we, we went through a lot yesterday. Uh, and I think if we had to pick a genre, right, of what that stream was yesterday, it would have been like a, a shmup uh, stream. It was just, it was just, yeah, there's a lot of good shmups on there. But I do like that this shmup that we just played, whatever it's called, Mazinger or whatever. It's just very, very cool to have that flying robot around, right? 
Uh, yeah, Phil, I, I paid for a blue tick. I wanted to mess about to see what it does. I haven't cancelled it yet. I was meaning to cancel it. I thought I'd try it out for a month, but I haven't actually done it yet. So I'll likely keep it for a bit because it complements the channel somewhat. Um, so that's that's fine. Uh, the blue tick's not the main part, really. Um, the, the main part is um, getting less ads and, and, and I wanted to uh, upload videos. The other reason I wanted to do it was I wanted to stream on there, but you can't stream on there unless you've got a business account. You have to use third party software to do it. But to be honest, uh, streaming on there, you don't really get you don't really get anyone watching it on there. I thought I'll try it out. So I'll likely also oh, press the run button. So I'll likely. Um, OK, I'll likely cancel it at some point, whenever whenever I get around to it. Um, so, yeah, for now, it's for now, it's it's there. There was a lot of um, there was a lot of controversy around the blue tick when it first came out. It was like, why are you paying for it and all this and all of that? Like for me, if I didn't do the channel, I, I wouldn't pay for the blue tick. But part part of the channel, I thought, yeah, you cool. Uh, Billy, you, yes, you can. Yeah, you can stream on X, but you need to use like I use Restream uh, to do it. That manages it quite well. Where it kind of tricks it into thinking you're doing it via your mobile because you can stream. Uh, via your mobile's camera but you can't use OBS directly to do it so you need to use like Restream and then go use Restream to go via OBS and Restream is something that lets you stream to multiple platforms simultaneously I'm not a big fan of it because when I use it to do uh, Twitch when I so let's say I do YouTube, Twitch and Twitter from it it doesn't monetize the YouTube videos uh, and I can't pick a lot of the options uh, in regard to Twitch, while I'm streaming, a black screen goes out, but the replay's there when you go to watch it. Um, so I only ever use it for Twitter from time to time, but I'll use it for like an insignificant stream, right? Something where I'm, um, something where I'm just, um, where I'm just like, I don't know, playing like Fight Cade or some SF, SF6 or something, and I'm uh, just chilling. I'm, I'm actually doing some gaming, so I'll run it on there. I, I, I don't think Twitter's a good platform to stream on, uh, at least not for me. Uh, maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe maybe, maybe down the line or somewhere something can come, you know, right now. Yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think it's a good option. Twitch is something I'd like to do a little bit more. Uh, okay, so Philip, do you pay for Restream? Because I was going to pay for it, but I was going to pay for the lowest tier. But the lowest tier, I didn't like the fact that it doesn't give you 1080p. You can only do 720 in the lowest tier. And I don't know, it just didn't sound that good. The mid-tier was the one that sounded reasonable. Uh, it's not as good as before. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so when you when you stream, if you're using it, are you, you, are you putting out to multiple platforms then? Uh, out of curiosity, which platforms do you use? Because there's other ones out there like Kick and these other ones that I've never used before, to be honest. Sorry, I'm going to take a sip of my drink, guys. Oh. Okay, this is going to be a long one, isn't it? So, unless it takes us into some kind of action. Okay, so that's an RPG. <laughs> We've got a nice bike chasing me. It actually doesn't look bad. Right, all right, here we go. It had a good intro, so that, that looked kind of cool, right? But let's, uh, let's end this fantasy of a cosmic fantasy and uh, let's now go... Let's go down and... Let's try and find something, something maybe that we haven't had a look at. That Disney one's quite good as well. Um, guys, has anyone ever played EX Slayer? Okay, th th this is this is something I like playing in bed. I, I really don't know much of the system or anything there, but I do like it. Um, do you know what, Retro Tuna? Have a look at Restream. I, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really a fan of it because you can't. When I done it on YouTube, it didn't monetize the video. Um, I didn't like doing it. I prefer just doing YouTube just solo when I do it. Um, but if you're going to do like Twitch and other stuff, I kept getting a black screen on Twi uh, Twitch, but uh, Twitter was okay. Uh, but do try it out. Let me know what you kind of think of it. Um, you know, if, if Mark, for example, if I, if I could recoup the investment of re if Resteam would pay for itself, if I put out on extra platforms, then I would pay for it. But at the moment, I don't really, I don't think it's worth it. I enjoy, I enjoy the streams on on YouTube. I would like to do stuff on Twitch because on Twitch it's a lot easier to get started. You just put in a title, and you press stream, and and you stream, and, and you're good to go, right? 
Uh, on YouTube, you know, I'll have to do the, the thumbnail. I'll have to do um, a, a write-up. I, I don't need to do massive write-ups for everything, but it does help put in a night uh, and, um, and uh, a write-up there. Oh, you know what? No, no. Okay, you know what? It's it's 2D. It's 2D. It's got that 3D kind of look, hasn't it? But you only go left and right, right? You don't go anywhere else. So, okay. So, I, I do take your point, Phil, of it is borderline, right? So, let's just go in there. I just want to show you some of the characters in this. So you've got, um, so I like, I like Dr. Dark in here, right? Like, I, I, I've just always liked this character, right? So, when, you, when you're doing this, when you're playing this, don't pick progressive. Pick classic if you want, obviously, classic controls, like your old Street Fighter controls. Thank you too for live streaming it. Yeah, do you know what? I've just got, I've got, I've, obviously, I've got my subscribers on YouTube. So, I think on, on Twitch, I've got like 60, 70 people. So, I know I'm not going to get the crowd there. But it's something, if I can work towards it, uh, maybe if a particular game comes out or there's something where I can, I can grow the audience on Twitch, then yeah, cool. Yeah, uh, you know, people really like Skullamania, Phil, eh? Uh, I have not really liked Skullamania too much. So, this, this runs at, um... At a at a nice sixty, but this guy's cool. He's got this, uh, you know, he's got like a, he's got what's he got? So he can lay the bomb down. Okay, so what was it? Bomb. Okay, so you can do the bomb. I want to try and do that because that looks cool. Okay, missing all the supers. But guys, I really, really thought this is this is like it's got characters from Street Fighter EX3, for example, the, the EX games, EX1, 2, 3, right? It's just a it's a fun game to kind of mess around and just play the computer, right? Okay, kicked her in the head. Yeah, this is a this is actually free to download, right? You can um, you can download it for free, and all the characters you have to buy as DLC. They've got like a few different supers as well. Has he got? He's got one with kick as well. You can do like an EX jump, he uses like half your bar. Uh, you can do some other stuff in as well, but to be honest, I'm not familiar with the system on this. It's just something I like to mess about with. Nice, okay, let's go for something else now. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a kind of like a grappling hook, and he can send like a little explosive down it, but. Whenever, when I played the, whichever Street Fighter EX game he kind of came in, I, I just kind of liked this character, man. Um, I just thought this character was pretty cool. And I was like, okay, you know what? Um, I'd like, I'd, I'd, I wish if, like, yeah, more like a, a new EX game came out, right? That would be fun. So I just want to kind of start from the bottom. Um, let's have a look. Wonder Boy Collection we looked at last time. Uh, this this game, right? So this is like a, a spiritual successor to Rastan, I'm told, right? I remember getting this originally on um, it was more basic. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I, I agree, Phil, when uh, the games were better when they were like that. Uh, so I, I got this originally with, I think this was the first game I got on the Xbox One when, it, when Games for Gold came out for that. Let me, give me one second. Let me turn the sound down a tad. Okay, hopefully that kind of should be all right now. Oh, do I have to chuck a spear? Right, and then... Interesting. Look, this is proper Rastan, is it? I mean, I'd, I'd like to kind of play this with the Rastan soundtrack. You've got the lizard men there. But this game is... It's not an easy game, man. I can. I, I'm. I'm. I'm hearing the Rastan soundtrack in my head. <laughs> I 
I look it just like Rastan as well. You've got the part that goes down instead of the batch. You've got the bees. This is this is proper proper Rastan, guys. I want to see like the little bit there. Definitely taken. Yeah, yeah. You know, whoever made this was a Rastan fan. They're like, you know what? I'm gonna make a game. I'm gonna make it like a like a futuristic Rastan. Definitely could do with a Rastan soundtrack though, man. Yeah, man, this is this is Rastan. Shame there's not an axe up there, right? Where those, uh, I don't know what they are, the bees. Oh, okay. So that's interesting, right? So you can um, you can fire the spear with Castlevania style, up and um, up and attack as well, which I kind of prefer, right? Uh, as to having a different button to it. I guess you need to use the spear more. something down there let's have a look no uh you know what i get feeling something's down there you know <laughs> that was a completely wrong feeling it was uh it was death that was down there let's just try and get past that bit you know not take a chance and go down can you charge your oh you can charge it Nice. Nice, okay. Oh, come on. Oh, you know what? Enough. This game's tough. I got told it was tough. Wicked. Oh, Wicked Dimitri again. Yeah, good up, PCN. Late here watching the stream. I think I added a few games to my backlog. No worries, man. Uh, Wicked, always good to have you around, man. Always good to have you around, Dimitri. Top, top guy, man. Have a good night. Have a good night, bud. Um, right, let's have a look. What else have we got down here? Um, okay, the, the Curse of the Moon games are quite good, is it? If anyone's seen those. If not, we can uh, have a look at some other stuff. Uh, this is a game. Was this on the Saturn, this game? Clockwork Aquario. Was it like an unreleased game or something? We can have a look at that. This was This was quite interesting. Dimitri plays Guile. <laughs> May well do. Ooh, what time we got? Wicked. All right. How long we got? All right. Yeah, no worries. About another half hour left still, so that's good. Okay, definitely on the on the right country. All right, we'll go with nine credits, but we'll only we'll only use one credit, right? While playing the game, you can plus those. Okay. Come on. I'm pressing plus. Oh, okay, have I got to go to arcade mode now? Why can't we get into the game? Okay, so... It's really annoying. That's what I hate about some of these ones. Right, why can't I? I've definitely played this before. So that works. Okay. Okay, you know what? I've, I've had enough. My patient r r runs thin by that. Some of these games are a bit annoying. Like, I like the arcade archives. Like, you know, the, 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 the left bumper is credit. The right bumper is start. So, but that one there, I don't know what was going on there. Wouldn't let me start it. This is an interesting game, Tecmo, Tecmo Night. Has anyone seen this? But okay, let's stay away from arcade archives for a bit. You will fight it. Oh, you're gonna fight Cade soon. Wicked. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? No worries, man. We're, I'm down for it, man. I'm down for it. I like fight Cade. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun to play. A lot of fun to play. Uh, so that's 
that, that's the Neo Geo Pocket Pocket version. Uh, what's that here? Dodon Do Do Patchy Resurrection. Let's check this one out then. Yeah, and free play sounds. Uh, yeah, free play sounds good. I'm not, I'm not sure when I'm gonna go there next time. You know, uh, I was gonna take one of my friends down there, but then we ended up playing. Um, we ended up playing Street Fighter Two Turbo, the SNES version with SNES controllers using um, using uh, the the what is it the reflex adapt from Mr. Addons. So we I plugged that one of those in. I got two SNES like HDMI adapters for that. And yeah, I'll put the HDMI adapters in and yeah, it just it just worked, man. It just worked. We played two players on that. We, we didn't actually end up going to the arcade. Um, yeah, good friend of mine, the guy, man. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's got like the Unlock Pocket and Steam Deck. Guy's really, really cool, man. He sent me a text earlier saying, look, he's not into Pokemon. Do I want Pokemon Soul Silver for, um, for the DS? So I sent him a screenshot of CX. I said, look, man, like I'll, I'll take it, but I don't want to take it from you. Because it's like, it sells for £95 in CEX, you can get 60 free trading for it, or 44 cash. But I said, better still, just keep it. Uh, it's only going to go up in value. So he was like, alright, cool. He goes, look, if you don't want it, I'll probably trade it in at CEX. I said, look, it's completely up to you. If you don't want something, keep it, you know. But really, really nice guy, like, just offering me that. But I, I do that, like, I, I get some friends. Like, I had a friend the other day, he said, oh, by the way, do you want this? And I think it was a, an old handheld called the... Uh, Maybe it was the Gizmondo or the one of them other ones. It was one of those weird ones out there, right? And I said to him, look, I'll take it because I'm into my retro stuff, right? And this is a handheld I don't have. But I said, look, let's just check it on eBay first, right? If it's going for a decent amount of money, right? Then don't do it. And, and that thing was going for like 250 plus, right? And it was with missing parts. His one was fully boxed uh, with everything on there. Was it a Gizmondo or was it... Was it a, a Garmin something? I can't remember what it was, right? He, he had it there, and I was like, dude, like, you know, just, like, sell it and get the money. Because, yeah, I'll take it because I'll be like, oh, that's a cool handheld for me to have. But, you know, I'm not going to appreciate it. But I always feel, I always feel guilty. I just want, if a friend of mine says, look, I, I want you to have this, right? I want them to know exactly what they're giving me. I don't want them to think this is junk, right? If someone gives me, like, a, if someone gives me FIFA... 2019 right which is probably worth about 50p and i want to take that i'll be like yeah cool I'll, I'll take that right but if someone's giving me something and i think it's going to be worth money like if someone said to me oh here's a sealed copy of um i found one uh while you know cleaning the house or whatever uh, a sealed copy of uh, mario 64 and i find that it's worth like i don't know a hundred thousand or a few a few thousand or whatever the value is right i mean it sold for millions, but that might have been some kind of scam, right? I feel too guilty. So I've had friends that have offered me stuff that aren't into gaming. And I always point out that, look, this is actually worth this much. And if you're giving me this, this is how much This is how much it's worth. This is how much it, it sells for on eBay. This is how much you can get trading for it. And, uh, you know, all of them have then uh, ended up trading it in or doing something with it. But I've got no issues with that. If I really wanted something, I'd tell them that, look, this is worth something. But let me, you know, as you've, as you've done it to me, let me pay you for it because I don't want to take it for free. But then if they were still insisting that, you know what, um, I want to give it to you for free. Like, for example, I don't have, uh, the only original Castlevania I have, right, at now is, um, that's not a bootleg. I've got a couple of bootlegs I bought from AliExpress. Uh, the only original one that I've got is actually Circle of the Moon, right? But if I got the other ones for the DSs or um, or the GBA, uh, I'd, I'd really, really be interested in them. Any of the Metroidvania style ones. Uh, but if a friend gave them to me, and I'm happy playing them on flash carts and, you know, via open FPGA or on the Mister or whatever. Uh, am I not dying here, right? I thought I was playing really good, but it's something here where I think this mode just doesn't let you die, man. But wow, this is a good game. I know a lot of people like the Dodon Patchy games. I've never really played them too hard, but... Um, this is one of the newer ones, right? It, it it plays and looks good. Right, let's do something else. Wicked. It's starting, bro. Wicked. Retro Royal. <laughs> the... No, no, no. Do you know what? We're talking about... Um, We're talking about just friends of mine. Friends of mine that have just given me stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I'll give friends stuff. Like, whenever I buy retro handhelds, right? Like, so I bought the Mio Mini Plus, right? 
if I buy something else later to replace that, I'll give that to one of my friends. I gave away like my Amber Nick last time because, you know, my friend, he's not hardcore into gaming, but we went arcade together. When he came into the country, I gave it to him fully jazzed up, 256 micro SD card with everything he could ever want to play on it, full arcade ROM sets, full SNES, Mega Drive, everything, uh, including stuff like a few Saturn and Dreamcast games on there, right? And I, I, I scraped all the box art, everything, like all the videos play, everything for that is just, it's just wicked. And, you know, that's that's me giving a buddy of mine a gift because he's a buddy. But my, I've got good friends, you know, so they'll give me something back. It's just a lot of stuff is worth a lot of money now, man. And, you know, if they want to give me that, I just want them to know that this is what you're giving me. It's it's worth it's worth a fair amount of money, right? So let's do SNK collection. Yeah, <laughs> no worries, but to be honest, I do get offers. I've got, so right now, I've got uh, two different cases for the analog uh, pocket coming. One of them's not released yet. It's, um, it's when that gets released, it'll be out. The other one's around. Uh, so I get those, but I'm not committing to doing reviews on them because it'll take too long to do a video. But what I will do is I'll feature them in the weekly news video. Um, so once I get those, I'll do that. But I don't really like using cases on like the pocket, even though it does make it a bit more comfortable. Uh, I'll just end up giving it to my friend or a cousin or someone. So sometimes I've got stuff that my, my kids want i'll tell you what i wouldn't mind reviewing and i want one and i wouldn't mind not obviously paying for it is i'd love to get um i would absolutely love to get um you know one of those little screens um like the little 15 inch i don't know 10 inch i'd like a little portable screen with 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 ho hopefully with a few milliseconds of lag so we're talking like a quarter of a frame or something half a frame at max right if we can um if I can get something like that, I would be super chuffed because the second Mister I got my my my, my sponsorship deal, uh, Mister from Mister Addons, I, I I take that one with me when I go to like my friends' houses, and if they've got like a terrible TV with lots of display lag, I can just use that little screen, and it'll also kind of let me get into small places with uh, with my Mister. So I'm really hoping one of those screen people uh, approach me. They actually did approach Video Game Esoteric, and they did, he did a review on one. So if I got one. Uh, because the value of those things, uh, some of them are around £100. Some of them are really cheap, actually, around £40, £50. Pounds. Um, so, uh, yeah, if I did get one, um, yeah, I'd, 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 I'd dig that. Oh, Gorilla War. You know, I'm, I'm interested. Let's see what it plays like on this. So, what's the console version? Oh, let's have a look at the console version. I, I, I imagine this is NES now, right? Look, wicked. Avenging Blue collar dude wicked yo what's up yo colorado checking in wicked hello to colorado man whenever i whenever i hear colorado i always think south park was 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 south park set in colorado oh, i can't remember okay big I, I like south park i haven't watched any of like the recent ones or anything but i do like them okay so this is this is definitely a nes game man it's moving <laughs> I never saw this on the NES, but I would have liked this, man. Not quite the arcade game. Look, I've got a bazooka shot. Definitely feels a, a lot better controls-wise, though. Ah, oh, look at that, man. I meant to shoot that one guy. Ah, oh, let me rescue him quickly. And him. Ah, oh, I got you, my dude. <laughs> All right. Let's try another game. This is this is interesting, right? So, quick game. Wicked. No, no, we don't want to quit. Quit, no save. That's cool. It's an arcade style game, right? But that's that's nice of you to offer. The OG Akari Warriors, Akari Warriors 2, Akari 3. This is out. This is out for Mr. Right? It's good. Oh, SNK 40 fan. Yes, they are wicked. I forget Charlie. Charlie Cat is a big SNK fan. Right. All right guys, I, I never really liked this game. I don't, I don't know why. It never really clicked with me. I don't know if this is a good game or if it's a bad game or I don't really know too much about this game, right? Oops. But it's 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 more like a like a brawler, right? You kind of go in and this is this is out for Mister, right? I mean, maybe if I played it in the arcade, I like it. When I when I played it after um, on emulation, I wasn't really a big fan of it. It didn't it didn't really click with me. Okay, so one's like a back fist. So two buttons, right? Oh, it's 
got rewind as well. <laughs> so you know what the rewind is just oh that was interesting. Look. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> That's quite funny. Look. It's got no it's got no lower body. <laughs> interesting. I wonder if that actual that actually takes place on original hardware. Uh, or the FPGA core. Yeah, see, I don't, actually, I don't mind it so much now, right? When I played this before, I didn't really, I didn't really like it. I mean, it's not... Oh, yeah, there's a jump button outside. All right, so it's a three-button game. So you've got your normal attack, your back attack, and you've got your jump. Oh, you can do jumping attacks as well. Okay. I <laughs> pick up the grenade, but then I got whacked. Okay, let's, uh, let's try something else. Quit no save. What time have we got? Wow, okay, 20-ish minutes left. Uh, there's a whole bunch of games on here, man. So that's it's, it's a good bundle. Um, I think it's quite expensive, though. I never liked Paddle Mania. That's out for Mr. as well. This is good. This is good. I, I like this game. I played this in the arcade. I really, really liked it. Again, we've got Mr. Core. And you know what, guys? As much as... Um, you know what? The, the, the coin-op collection, right? The, the, the coin-op collection release group, right? The, the cock release group. They've brought me some of my favourite arcade games, man. Stuff like POW. Um, stuff like Outzone. Stuff like Gang Wars. Uh, they, they've, brought, they've brought some good games out, man. And, and I, like, I remember seeing this in the arcade. Just the beginning, you know, how he blows up um, the door with gunpowder. It was just really, really good. I think he had a kick button as well. So you got punch, kick, and jump on here. So he had like a three button game. I think you could look uh, you could headbutt with the two buttons as well. <laughs> really, really did like this game. Come on, pop out. Again, these games really benefit like all these games look better on CRTs, right? But some of them they, they don't really look that good. Like what I'm looking at now, it just really doesn't look that good. But once you're playing this on a CRT. Uh, or you apply shaders and everything. In fact, let's see if this has actually got options for shaders. That will be interesting. Oh, filter on. Okay, we have. Okay, no, no. We'll, we'll stick to sharp screen. So that was. Okay, the, the filter's not looking. Filter off. TV filter. All right, let's go. Again, it's not looking that great. I kind of like it where it, it looks like a little bit darker as well. But yeah, this was this was good. It was it was it was tough in the arcade as well. I'm still good. wow. Okay, that was that was rather tough over over there. Let's uh, oops, wrong button. Uh, let's go back and let's quick game. Oops. And oh, prehistoric Kyle again. That's yeah. So the 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 coin up collection have brought a lot of these games out. SAR is one of the games they've brought out as well. Street Smart was was kind of interesting. That's out for Mister as well. Wow, Time Soldiers. Yeah, a lot of these we have got for Mister. You know, let's have a look at um, Street Smart because this was kind of. Oh, hold on. What's that was interesting. Let me try something here. It's got an option to watch. What does watch mean? Is that just going to be a track mode or is that going to be watch? What does that mean? Is it just going to play itself? Oh, I've got a 12 minute video there. Okay, this is interesting. Wow, okay. Let's see. Come on, start the game. Yes, this is... I don't, was this out before Street Fighter? This was, this was interesting. It looked really good in the arcade. You could be like the two guys, like one karate guy and well, one, I guess, like a wrestler guy or something. It just looks really, really good in the arcade. You've got everyone standing around watching. You know, guys in business suits. You've got Mr. Miyagi up there with like a Hawaiian shirt standing next to that brunette with shades on. And the brunette with shades is standing there with Mr. Miyagi's twin. Yo, Cyber Akuma in the house. How you doing, man? So this has games and a watch. Yeah. Um, not all the games have got the watch mode in it, though. I, I only noticed it for Street Smart, but that's that's interesting. They've they put a video in there. So, yeah, man, that's that's interesting to watch. It means uh, I can have a little break from uh, playing and I can um, I can have a little well, finish off my drink. I've only got a little bit left. I oh, remember that the ambulance takes the, <laughs> the loot away. That's neat. 
for anyone that's coming late we did have a special guest today mind you the special guest has been behaving today they've not been out as much uh, and the special guest is it's a me mario i'm gonna sue you take you to court <laughs> okay I don't, did, did anyone actually play Street Smart, right? Anyone play this game? Because I, I remember the somersault, like the back somersault he done as well. This was, like when this came out in the arcade, it, it, it was popular for a period of time. Like people used to be around there, work out the techniques and beat them. We watched this fight. We watched the ambulance route, uh, come in and um, yeah, and then, then we'll, we'll try something else. Wow, 15-ish minutes left, maybe a little bit less. Yeah, Time Soldier's all right. I remember, I remember that coming out for, um, I remember that coming out for Mr. and try and get out. <laughs> Cyber Akuma, yeah, we're, we're definitely in the future, playing old games with a future twist. Look at that, he's doing some good combos there on the guy. I feel the ambulance is going to come soon. Look at that, he's just whacking, we're making it look easy, man. It's good to put that video in there, right? Of someone actually doing uh, some good gameplay in there. He's nearly done. Oh, he's done. Ambulance is there. Okay. And that is our cue to leave this game. I don't know. I think tomorrow's stream, I might do an Amiga stream on the analog pocket, looking at arcade ports on the Amiga, because I, I wanted to do that for a while. There's a Dante, uh, Dante Mendes or Dante developer 3d uh, he's got a really really good twitter account and he posts a lot of stuff and he posted a whole bunch of arcade ports for the amiga and obviously i want to look at those but as well as that i want to have a look at uh, a few others as well sorry someone said darius hd at the beginning we didn't do that i'm really sorry i've done that other one so let's do darius hd now have you thought of doing a youtube premiere so how does ori how does premiere work it just means when i release a video you can only it becomes like a tv program doesn't it you can only watch it live at that that, that time and once it is live uh, once it is live then you can watch it like a normal video I, I don't see the thing is if i release a video like that it'll be, it'll be a little bit annoying if someone watches it five minutes after they've kind of missed the first five minutes and you kind of lock people down to watching it at a a single a single time so for me like live streaming is cool because you can still watch the replay in regards to a premiere I would I would need a specific reason to do it. So sorry, whoever asked for Darius HD at the beginning, we're going into Darius HD now. Uh, okay, let's let's just go normal mode. So let's do some. I really do like the Darius games, man. They're not stuff that um are played. Um, I used to work with a guy called Darius who I found really annoying. He wasn't actually a bad guy. He just he kind of started the job I had after me and he was after my job because I had really good hours at, at, at my work um, and he kind of wanted my position. But, you know, the guy was just really getting after it, man. And um, yeah, he didn't really have anything on me. So what I always, so what I did at my old job, right? Um, at, at, yeah, at my, at my previous job. And the reason I was I was given this really good position was I introduced systems in there so complicated that I, I was the only one that understood them. And whenever anyone wanted to understand it, it was just too much of a headache to do it. So, and I kind of purposely done it on that. So when I went on holiday, they were all struggling behind me. And even this guy that was kind of going after my job and wanted it, he couldn't understand the system that I set. But I kind of purposely made it um, very, very complicated. So only I could, only I could deal with it. No one else could deal with it at work. And, you know, whoever I had, uh, whatever line manager at the time, just never really figured it out. So I just... I just kind of kept it and I, and I kept that system going for like a number of years, man. Um, even when I left, I kind of left it there. And I, I don't know if they would have had to change everything there when I left because it was a little bit complex. But sometimes you have to do that work, right? You, you got to be the valuable, you, you got to, you have to present some value at work. Like there's, like at work, for example, at my current job, there's a whole bunch of um, reports that have to be done, right? I mean, they're, they're not rocket science, right? Once you know them, there's no logical trail to them. You you have to know what you're doing, right? So like the guys that do my job, they, they they've kind of lazed out of it, right? And now with dynamics have changed at work, all of a sudden I'm a lot more valuable than them because I've got access or I've got knowledge on stuff that the other guys don't, right? So you know I'm 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 not like I'm not saying I'm the hardest worker out there. You know sometimes I might just do the absolute minimal that's required, but. I, I do try and shine here and there with a couple of things just to just so my employer thinks you know what it's it's worth keeping this guy around you know especially if it comes to a point where it's like we need to lose um 
some people, which does happen in workplaces, right? We all got to deliver to the shareholders. That's what we work for, right? You know, if they can't make their money, well, we need to start sacking people so we can get some of their wages and pay their dividends. That's that's definitely the state of the UK. Uh, public companies privatized, dividends paid out, and all your poo poo goes. Uh, go straight out on the seaside when you go on a holiday with your family because the water companies are doing what they do um but yeah so anyway going back to yeah make yourselves valuable at work to some extent uh but gang okay let's go back to this game this kind of looks all right man this looks all right, got dude at the beginning i'm really sorry someone asked for darius hd i picked the wrong game for you uh if you're still around um i know it's difficult to watch a whole stream for two hours um i i, I think the only streams i've watched for a whole two hours is like when i'm watching something like evo you know like the finals and I'm, I'm, i've really gotten into it um and i and, I, and i've stuck in and 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 i've watched it so that's the only time i've done it and i understand these are wrong and i don't expect most people to sit through the whole thing uh you know just sit through wow I like that, man. Look at that. Yeah, this is really, really good, man. These Darius games are darn good. <laughs> and they're darn tough as well, man. They like shmups. When you're playing on a small screen, right, they, they, if they feel a lot faster because they're smaller. I do like the fact that you can shoot the projectiles. That's just the, the, a, a few shmups that I've been playing recently. You can shoot projectiles. Right, what's the deal with Darius and fishes, man? Why they... Why are they really? Why are you always shooting fishes in here? Like I've not checked the story or anything, right? But they really got it in for the fishes, haven't they? You know. Oh, nice. Okay, that's really interesting. You 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 come around and your ship turns around. That's brilliant. You know, some some ships have a have a. Oh, okay. Ah, I kind of I kind of jumped into that. Okay, cool. What we got? Wow, we've got under ten minutes, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh wicked yes uh, cyber cool. yeah that might well be a common tactic at work but you know what it's it's a good tactic like you know do my um my last boss right who's no longer my boss unfortunately really really cool guy but he come out with really, really something really really good so um my, my, when i got my company email he didn't have he didn't have my name as the email which is what i usually have right i have my name my name dot um well, i have my name dot last name at company.com right so what he did was he actually put job role jo dot location at the company i work at right and the thing is i've still got a named email for my work so anything that goes to my named email goes to that inbox it's like emails linked i guess which go to the same thing um so i still give out my my work name however the reason he made job role emails was because if i was to leave then there's not the hassle of everyone sending emails to my work email that will get closed down but the the, the job role email the 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 password will be changed and it will be given to the person that fulfills the role which i thought was quite good oh for rumble fish you know what okay let's let's do rumble fish right because i was looking at that before i picked this and we'll go to that after uh maybe do rumble fish and ninja warriors uh, returns right um now rumble fish i really really like the look of it and i can't remember where i saw it and I always wanted to get it right and i was like i really really want to get this game right when I actually finally tried it, I, I, I don't actually like it. I feel I feel like the movement's not that good on it, man. Um, that's just not that good. So it's a beat em up. I can't remember. Uh, sorry, a beat em up. It's a fighter that came out for. I can't remember what it came out for now. I don't know if it was a Dreamcast. I don't know if it was the PS2. I don't even have the PS3. I remember it came out for something. I had the console and I really, really wanted to get this game, right? You know, this is when I was, I'm, 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 I'm a, I like fighting games. I've been into fighting games and I always liked how this looked. And I was like, I, I really want to get this game. So when the Switch version come, I've got the Switch version, right? But I regret, I regret it. This isn't, this isn't, I don't know. Like, it, it, hopefully it comes across when you see what I see here. But the, the, the movement in this game is just, it's terrible, man. It's just, it's really, really bad. Really, really bad. Oh. So, okay, we will have a look at the fighters. That does look interesting. He's got like a little Naruto headband there. Again, that's like a young geese. Okay, right, here we go. Wow, the jiggly physics. Uh, you got, okay, so the characters definitely look interesting, right? You got that little short fat guy down there. Again, interesting characters right let's just go 
Let's go to this guy because that's going to be the closest thing to like Ken and Ryu, right? That's what a lot of the guys in beat em ups are like. Let me come out on here. Yeah, okay, so there you go. That's where it was then, Cyber Akuma. It was, it was on the PlayStation 2. And I think I tried to get it. I had like a, a, a modded PS2, a chip PS2 at the time as well. Uh, so, but I, I, for some reason, I didn't get this game. I didn't find it or whatever it was. And, and I never, ever played it. And I always, always wanted to play it. And I was really happy when it came out. But honestly, I didn't like the movement in this game. I just, I did not like it. Look, look. Look at, look how, look how slow the walk is. His walk is like Makoto from Third Strike, but... <laughs> yeah, really, really slow movement. But I don't know if this is... Yeah, it seems like all the characters are like that. You know, I want to try something. I just want to pick another character. I want to see if the older characters are like this, right? Game over. Thank you for your participation. Okay, so let's go arcade again. How to play. And, right, let's go. Let's just pick another character, right? So let's pick one that maybe looks fast. This little guy should be faster. Let's see if the walk speed is faster, because... Um, yeah, there was the walk, sp the, the speed just put me off. Like, I like Bird Strike, I've never liked Makoto because I, I just don't like that walk speed, right? That's just me. Makoto's a great character, Bird Strike is a great game, it's just not for me. But in this one, like, if this guy moves faster, then maybe. Let's see. Okay, he does move faster, but that was the character. But I didn't expect the, the Ken and Ryu character to be fast, okay. Okay, so he's definitely better. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Interesting. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a nice move, man, to kind of get out. That's like Hurricane Kick I'm doing there. Has he got Dragon Punch? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, thanks for jumping in there, bud. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll take it back, you know, this game isn't bad. Right, now that I've tried a different character with a better walk speed. Yeah, that first character, that Zen, whatever he's called. Walk speed is terrible. You don't have a, you don't have your Ken and Ryu character like that, guys. You don't do it. Oh, this is going to have to be the last game, you know. It's got to be under two hours, otherwise I, I, I won't be able to upload it to... Um, to X. Okay, yeah, this game this game's alright. Did he do a jumping fart there? I don't even know how I've done that. Okay, let's see if I can can I combo a I really want to combo a super. Okay, kinda worked. <laughs> Can he do it all the way across? No. Okay, halfway across the screen. Nice. So what's grab? Okay, I won that one though. That, that, that's decent. That's decent. What we will do, let's finish off and we'll just run a demo of this before I do the outro. But uh, yo, J Rose in the house, guys. J Rose, J Rose, cool man. J Rose got uh, got a, a good Etsy store with reasonably priced accessories for uh, the Unlock Pocket. He's got like, uh, if you bought like the recent. Um, adapters. He's got like good cases for them. So if you don't have a three D printer yourself, uh, you might want to check out J Rose um, J Rose store. Um, or the, yeah, check him out. Maybe there's links on there. I know links kind of get deleted automatically if they get posted in chat. Uh, I know there's an option there for it. I've set that there because you do get a lot of bad actors in there. Uh, but yeah, Jero Jero's a good guy, man. Jero, thanks for dropping by, man. Do appreciate that. But um, yeah, this is this is good, man. I like I like I like I like Ninja Warriors Returns, man. This is. Um, this is a good game.
Uh, the original Ninja Warriors is fantastic as well. But guys, you know what? Um, let's uh, let's start wrapping things up. So thank you, everyone. Average Blue Collar Dude, Cyber Akuma, Phil as always, Ori, uh, Charlie Cat. Thanks for dropping by as well. Uh, Tesseractor. Uh, we had Dimitri pop in. Big Al popped in as well. Uh, a lot of you guys popped in. Biz, uh, beer, beers love gaming. Definitely beers love gaming. Uh, Cloud and Tiffa 2000. Uh, Retro Tuner as well. Um, everyone that dropped in, guys, look, thank you. Really, really do appreciate. I do. I, I enjoy doing these streams. Um, and uh, also, just be careful not to mess around with Nintendo because I'm gonna come for you. The Nintendo Ninja. No one is safe from them. But guys, that is it for the stream. As always. Thank you. Thank you so much for participating. Absolutely love it. Uh, be awesome to one another, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys around. This is Pixel Cherry Ninja out.